And this could be like your main pass. Like, say you just like, man, that's kind of what the long step is. It's just like, <laughs> you don't really have to know anything. You just jump. So this is kind of a very similar move. This is probably going to be very beneficial against like half guard players. You know, if you see them trying to grab this stuff, that feed that collar. Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta go quick. If you let a half guard player get their good grips and start coming towards your back in like a coyote guard or something or deep half guard, it's gonna suck. So man, I'm pushing that leg away, turning his head, get a good cross face. If I can get him to let go, yeah, exactly. If I can get him to let go of that grip, even, or, yeah, that's perfect. Start pushing on, pulling the hip towards you. A lot of pressure here. Okay, man, I stay tight. From here, maybe he tries to he, he maybe tries to bridge with that underhook. And I follow him. Start putting pressure here. I can always sit back in La Plata. What's up guys? Here with uh, my boy Sergi at his school in Savannah, Georgia. If you guys are in the neighborhood, come visit him for some good training. And uh, today we're gonna look at one of the, one of uh, this very powerful pass. I don't use it too often. Uh, specifically, I'll use it when I'm stuck in a knee shield or maybe the guy's trying to go into like a sit-up guard, single leg guard. So, um, home of the hall is uh, popularized this move. So we're gonna look at it today. There's different ways to set this up. Um, I mean, this could be like your number one go-to pass. It's very powerful. What we're looking for is, uh, I'll just start in like the knee shield position here. So I always wanna kinda, kinda control this collar. Uh, even if he's framing me, I'll try to control this. One thing I've seen, I uh, hold, hold the collar on, on me. Yeah. One thing, uh, with this, this hand too, that, that hand there we go. One thing my friend C was showing, he likes to come inside and then say he goes for that long step. See, how, uh, keep, keep that on, yeah. It really like opens this space up versus if it's reversed. Yeah, you see he's gonna frame me because he's controlling his inside space. And then if he gets his leg together, like it's hard to pry that open. All right, this, this will come inside. Yeah. And then I'm, I gotta do some crazy, crazy footwork to get back inside. Control that collar again. If I can get inside, perfect. At the same time, I'm gonna control his top leg. Bring, raise your leg up on the pant. Again, don't keep your thumb inside, like a fish hook grip instead. And I'll kind of, uh, what I'm looking to do is to push that leg behind me, like you're Superman. Get your arm behind your back. And um, I can do this from here, or I like to recenter Sergi. So you see how his hips are pointing this way. I'm gonna recenter him. So when I say recenter, I'm just gonna open up his hips using my leg and that, that pant grip. Recenter. And now that's gonna open up his, uh, some space for me to cut my leg into, okay? So I'm kind of posting on his, his, his shoulder just to kind of stabilize him. Start pushing that leg behind me. At the same time, I'm gonna lead with my knee going cross body there and he might have the underhook which is fine so look i'm gonna keep driving this collar lapel into his shoulder sometimes i'll even push it punch it to the mat go for the underhook exactly so i'm trying to stretch him out so it's really hard for him to do anything he can't really bump me and i'm securing my knee to the mat from here i'm gonna start it doesn't really matter the order a lot of times i'll start uh working for a deeper cross face Okay, if his head kind of low, he's kind of like that. I'm gonna uh, go a little bit deeper and go with my forearm against his face, his neck. Sorry, Sergi, <laughs> you just had a massage there and I'm kind of ruining it. Or I can, if I can, I'll try to deep, dig deeper under, try to control his back. And on my other hand, my right hand's gonna go into his hip and it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna pull his hip towards me as I drive his head towards the other side, okay? So like a yoga stretch there and then I'll keep putting pressure and then use my free leg to loosen if I feel like he's still not uh, giving up that space that's fine I'm gonna pick my knee up and place it on his hip until like a quarter mount okay once I'm here I keep my leg surgery that's fine I'm gonna switch my cross face because right now his head is going towards uh, my leg I keep, uh, lock your legs more uh, his head is going towards my legs. So I'm gonna switch my cross face and then I move his head opposite. Okay, from here. 
that leg's gonna come out. Control the mount, walking your feet up higher. And I like to take his head off the mat. So try to bridge. Really try to bridge, Sergi. Okay, I can hold this position really well, all right? Because you never notice this, but go, to, go and bridge now. He, he needs to put his head and shoulders on the mat to bridge. When I control his head, go to bridge. Okay, so if you're going with a crazy strong white belt, okay, you're gonna, <laughs> it's like those little things you do at a, like a cowboy bar. What's the, the bull ride? <laughs> He's going around. So when you're going with the bull, you're gonna control the head. So again here, you know, uh, a lot of times you just end up in these positions. You try a knee cut or something, the knee's in the way. So instead of worry about anything crazy, control the collar. And you know, uh, Sergi showed a good detail. He likes to kind of pull this in. That's fine too. Like you, sh you should always have the person holding your weight. You don't want to be too nice to where you're leaving space and you can recompose. Pulling myself in, control the pant leg. From here, I'm gonna recenter myself using my, my uh, trap leg, the inside leg. Stepping out. And look, I start pushing that leg down towards the mat. If I can get, get that leg here, perfect, okay? At the same time, gonna post on his chest and then that leaves my legs free to move, okay? So I'm just gonna cut into his hip. Okay, from here, I, I, I'm posting on his mat, stretching his leg out, uh, try to move any surgery. So he's kind of stretched out, really. So if you have a long wingspan, this is a perfect pass for you. From here, I start working my cross face and the leg, or the hand that's holding his pant, his, his pant leg goes to his hip. And this is the weird part. I'm gonna pull his hip towards me. At the same time, I force his head opposite direction. Okay, and I stay here, hold, try to free my leg. Again, if he's not, he's just not letting anything happen, that's fine. I'm gonna bring my knee up and start forcing a quarter mount. Okay, and then I can stay here, but a lot of times, Especially if the guy has a good half guard, he'll kind of camp out here, you know? Or he'll look to, yeah, you know, the guy can stay here a lot. Maybe he'll try to underhook my leg. You know, some guys are really good at this position. So I'm gonna switch my cross face. And remember, I go opposite. So his head's going this way, his hips are going that way, right? And eventually it's just a matter of time. He lets go from here. I don't stay here. I'm gonna go beat on his hips and my arm goes under his head. If he tries to bridge. Yeah, it's a pretty bad position guys. <laughs> I'll just do a little bit faster guys. So don't listen to me talk too much, get my grips. So I'll kind of sit here and pull, you know, I can always do that long step. If I feel this is open, you know, all day. Sometimes like if you feel the guy's frame is really good, you might not want to go for it. Or if I feel like, uh, like here, if I feel like there's a lot of space, I'll just kind of shoot that in real quick. All right. One thing also, like if the guy's trying to go for like a sit up guard or single leg guard, any of this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll just come here. And you know, this is a slower pass. You got to put a lot of pressure on the guy. If I, if I just get tired, the guy's gonna pop up, right? <laughs> so man, you gotta keep constant pressure on the pant, pushing that down, and then on the, on the cross face. So right now I'm posting my, my fist into the mat, but eventually I wanna get deeper on that cross face. And if I can, I try to keep my knee on the mat as much as I can, pressure, control the hip, really pull him. Right here, you let go of the grip, so that's fine. Sometimes he doesn't let go of the grip, Okay, when that happens, I go back for that uh, quarter mount, keep my, keep my leg trapped. Okay. So I bring my knee up and I'm going for his hip. And now that lapel doesn't really help him, right? Again, switch my cross face. And then man, I put a lot of pressure. I put as much pressure as, as I can. I can even use that other foot to pry open. Feet go high. Control top of his, behind his head. Okay, and I'll, I'll usually stay here. The guy's bucking, going crazy, you know. All right, wait for him to get tired and then start looking for that collar. 
maybe go into like S mount, which we'll look at in a different video. Start attacking there. Uh, so guys, this is a very good move. You're gonna see Homo Bahal doing this. Um, go, go back down. Again, this could be like your main pass. Like say you just like, man, that's kind of what the long stuff is. It's just like, <laughs> you don't really have to know anything. You just jump. So this is kind of a very, very similar move. This is probably gonna be very beneficial against like half guard players, you know? If you see them trying to grab this stuff, that feed that collar. Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta go quick. If you let a half guard player get their good grips and start coming towards your back in like a coyote guard or something or deep half guard, it's gonna suck. So man, I'm pushing that leg away, turning his head, get a good cross face. If I can get him to let go, yeah, exactly. If I can get him to let go of that grip, even, or yeah, that's perfect. Start pushing on, pulling the hip towards you. A lot of pressure here. Okay, man, I stay tight. From here, maybe he tries to, he, he maybe tries to bridge with that underhook. And I follow him. Start putting pressure here. I can always sit back with Plata. You know, in the tournament, if you sit back with Plata, it's not a sweep. <laughs> and I get an advantage for attacking. Then I can start attacking more, take my time. You can really spam, spam move. So guys, that was the homolo guard or homolo pass. Uh, very powerful move. A lot of different options. You know, you could just, you could win a black belt tournament just from <laughs> doing this one move. So it's very powerful, guys. Thank you, Sergi. All right, guys, until next time, peace out. Peace, peace, peace. And ciao. All right, I'm tired. Uh.